I need to try and find some Whitworth nuts to go on here. Um, that are pre-war, like the full-size Whitworth nuts. These are modern Whitworth nuts, or modern-ish. We're going to bolt in there and these, these are stored those three, the rest are all some nuts and bolts. We have some of them, we've got the heads ground off so there's clearance in the back. This angled valve chest is quite an interesting thing. There's a, a blanket plug I put in there, there'll be a little tap goes in there to drain water out of the valve chamber. When it's warming up. There's a lump broken off there. <coughs> I don't know what to do with that. Well, just to mill it flat and leave it or build it up. I don't want to damage the the brass sign that's on there by heating it. I'll see if that's held on. I think there'll have been a governor attached to that at one time. Sure, a straighten paper, it's not very good stuff. And the valve floats around, that's a like a square. And the valve, the slide valve itself, floats around inside of there. Wobbles about like that. And the only thing it holds it onto the port face is the steam pressure on the outside of it. There's no pressure pushing it on. This looks like doesn't look original this rod here that looks like stainless steel indeed it is that's got the look as though it's been added or modified or changed at some at some time not quite sure how the adjustment works on it but it run quite well so we're going to get left well alone. I think what I'll do next, I'll take some ancillaries off it and then pull the, the cylinder cover off. Mechanical lubricator off in the water pump. The water pump's original, but that's been added on at some later date. Not quite sure how it works here. I'm going to take this pin out. The crosshair there, that's just something like a drives a water pump and the oil pump is fastened onto the back of it as well. And they're not original because the washers aren't there, I don't appear to be the right size. Escape me. Come on, you little snivelling bastard. You. Thank you. Come on. Make right, sure so that's a link is off for that. We'll save the little washer. At least we will do when we we'll find it. I'll take this off first, and it's out the way. Nicely made, right and re all this together. I'll use a socket, that's what I bought them for. <laughs> Wrong size, it looks a dafty.
Yes, darling. I'm just going to say hello, darling. I'm home. Hi, darling. Are we going to Cobbleton? Happens at 12. Right, that's alright. 10 at 0. It's caught at 11. Yeah, we're not Cobbleton. Alright. Alright, I'm going to make a batty open. I'll take them out, you like. We need to be over here for quarter to 12. These have been doing properly are all studs and nuts, not just bolts wound in. Little BSF things here. Quite a lot of work gone into that. Very nicely done. Very nice indeed. Right, I need this pin out again. I'm not quite sure how it works. <coughs> Possibly just taps out, I don't know. There's a little lubricator on there. I could leave it on and take the centering off, but I'd rather not split the centering off as I've got to. Simple enough. Just tops out. I'll leave the nut on so I know which way it goes. That's actually drilled, I'll bring a camera in. You focus. It's got a drill in there, you know, on each side to lubricate all the various bits and pieces. This is all nicely made stuff, and there's no way at all on it. I don't think this has been run, but if it has, it hasn't done very much. Take the two bolts off, take the pump off. Work with spanners. I keep buying work with spanners and car boot when I see them because they don't come in handy for working on things with work with in really. But seeing that, that looks like you and see that could be modern. And the base plate, no shims or nothing, there's no wear at all on this. If you look in there, it'll focus right, that's just no wear at all. Nice little oiler, a little bit of oiler in there. That's an original look with bolt, the other one's not. I'll put them in there so we'll do where they went. I have to make some valves for this beautiful bronze plunger. And there's a stuffing block in there. There's no packing in it. That's there's just no way anywhere. Nowhere anywhere. I don't think these are original, I think they've been added on, but they are nice old solid brass ones.
they held onto a steel bracket but that bracket won't come out for all this and I need these off so I can get that pin out of there and that's flared, no it's not, it's got a silver so that olive on the end nicely done So polish up really nicely. Put attention on that. sizes on some of these Quite clever the way these work, it's obviously filled up with oil and when it's in that position there the oil can't run through and you lift that up it pulls the needle up and allows the oil to drip through and you can watch it dripping through that telltale glass there old fashioned, it just works Right, we're sort of getting into it a bit now. I'll bring the camera in because there's something interesting here. There's definitely something changed on this. That's a crosshead on the eccentric. This is the valve that operates a rod. Where the eccentric ends a crosshead there. Now this bearing bracket here is only held on with one bolt. There's no hole there, but there's two holes further down. And that thing has been remade, which tries to tell me that this has been adapted or modified in some way I don't know how but it certainly has I'm looking for marks there's normally little A's and B's on to line things up if there isn't any I'll mark it um, just to make sure everything's there's just no way anyway that essentially it drives the water pump it's got no way on it at all there's a little oiler Missing out of there. I've had a look under the main bearing, I know that, that side's mint. I'm going to disconnect it from there and take the, take the cylinder off, I think, next. There's marks on here, there's a little ear there and a little ear there. And this is actually finger tight, I haven't, I haven't loosened that off. It's got double nuts on it. Thick nut to tighten it, then a thin nut to lock it in place right that pin should just come out of there I suppose it's a little bit tight I'm going to brass punch in behind it so I can tap it out for this horrible gasket material anyway. I don't want to 
really nasty bastardized marks on it. Once again, no way at all. This hasn't been run, pretty certain of it. Really is really tight, everything's so tight. Yeah. Anyway, that'll come out of there. Lift the top off. We'll turn it round now and have a look at the connecting rod side of it. But all this is kind of free to come off now. And there's that one bolt there. To come out. Actually, nothing for it. size that one and then open a summer really not metric and not imperial and just a good spanner size that one makes it a lot simple and a lot to see if I do it this way Right, so now we're working on this bit here. Right. Let's get this off now, I think. 